Hello and welcome to Kevin's Covers. This is your go-to channel to find acoustic arrangements of songs that you could do while busking, gigging and gigs when you're alone and hanging out and around a fireside or something like that. Today's song is particularly good, I think, around firesides. It is Neil Young and not one of his best known songs, but a really nice little song called Love is a Rose. <laughs> So this is a very straightforward song, very, very easy to do. So yeah, dead easy. Let's take a look at the performance and then we'll come back and I'll show you how it's done. that was my version of Love is a Rose. It's very close to Neil Young's version. It's a very simple song. There's not that all, all that much to change. Three chords, G, C, D, the three most common chords in American folk music. Uh, and this is very much a folksy, almost country song. Uh, so G, C, and D, one, four, five. And there's really, uh, the chord structure is very straightforward, right? G, C, That's it. And then on the chorus, C, G, D, e, G, C, G, D, G. Only two things to keep uh, that, are, that are a little bit uh, tricky is that little riff where he sings, uh, like, it goes like this. Right? So take the best right now. So all we're doing there is we're sliding from this F, so fourth string, third fret up to the G, right? Fourth string, fifth fret, and then back down. Down to the D, open D, then pulling off on the C, fifth string, third fret to the open, and then hit that G, okay? That's all. The other thing is the actual strumming pattern. If you're used to very simple strumming patterns, that repeat themselves, well, you're not going to play this song right because he's mixing up between the measures. Let's take a look at this, right? So if you 
count that out. It's going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And three and four. So you see we're mixing between the two, right? And likewise in the chorus. So you have to get used to that, uh, mixing it up a little bit, uh, but that's about it. I would point out uh, this song uh, was originally released by Neil Young on the otherwise compilation album Decade, which was kind of a best of of everything he'd done up to that point. Uh, Decade came out in 1977, and I got it right away. I was 13 years old. I already loved Neil Young, and man, Decade. Uh, I, only, I think I only had Harvest at the time. I saved up my money buy uh, albums from time to time, but I didn't have a lot. So Decade was just fantastic. And um, that song came out. In, and furthermore, Decade was a triple album, right? So yeah, it was one of the few triple albums. So you opened it up, and Neil had written these little notes on each of the songs, you know, why he'd written them and the story of them and so on. Uh, it was great. Back when there were actual, you know, 33 RPM albums, uh, it was always interesting to see what was included. The albums like Jethro Tull's Thick as a Brick with the whole newspaper. Anyway, so, uh, came out by Neil Young with Decade. Uh, it also uh, was covered by Linda Ronstadt. I think her version might have come out first. I think Neil gave it to her, and it was a big hit. She did a real country version of it, and just a great song. Not one of his best known. I'd also point out, I'm doing this on this Epito Epiphone FT-145 from 1972. And the reason I'm using this guitar, I'll be, I'll be absolutely frank, it's not my favorite guitar, but it's one of my first guitars. I got it, I think, in um, 1973. Uh, it was new, and it replaced my very first guitar, which was a real awful guitar that must have cost like ten dollars or something by that time the the fingerboard was actually separating from the neck and i used to like keep picks in there it was an awful guitar and my father i think bought this for himself so that he could learn how to play the guitar since i was playing the guitar and that never really worked out for him so i quickly inherited it and uh so it's really the oldest guitar that i had or at least the guitar i've had the longest time uh, and I learned, of course, Love is a Rose on this. I remember when Decade came out, I just sat down and f figured it out. Um, because all you young people out there, that's what we used to do if we wanted to cover songs. We couldn't look on the internet and say, what are the chords to Love is a Rose? No, you had to go and listen to it and figure out what he was doing. And for 13-year-old me, Love is a Rose was one of the very simplest songs that I could figure out. Um, anyway. So that's kind of the story of the guitar and the song. I hope you like the video. If so, please do click like. And please make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more like these. And comment if you want to make comments. And just be cool and rock on.